G'day, it's Shane here from My New Grape TV and thank you for joining me at my home bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping me bring McLaren Vale wine to the world. I know I haven't had a video for a couple of weeks, so uh, thanks for your patience uh, for these videos and uh, certainly hope you'll enjoy this next video. So the wine I have today is the Thorpe Wines Reserve Shiraz, obviously McLaren Vale, from 2009. Those that uh, have been watching Wine New Grape TV for a while will probably recognise Thorpe Wines. Very uh, enjoyable sparkling Shiraz and have um, also reviewed uh, Chardonnay, uh, the, the uh, basic or the, the normal Shiraz, their Cabernet. Um, and I saw Nicole, uh, the owner just recently, and um, got the opportunity to uh, get a bottle of this 09 just after it has been bottled. So I drank it, I was enjoying it, and I thought, why not share the last bit with you guys? So let's do the wanky thing. It's interesting, uh, these wines, uh, particularly the Shiraz, from uh, the vineyards there on Mountpass Road for Thorpe. I really enjoy this inky, sort of iodine type aroma uh, that comes through. I must admit, I haven't noticed it as much uh, in other people's wines as I do uh, with these particular um, uh, vines or these grapes. So it must be uh, they're doing something, maybe it's a different clone or whatever, um, but highly, highly enjoyable. Getting a bit of spice, maybe not uh, the pepper that you would normally think of. Um, maybe, maybe just a hint of cinnamon. It's just under fifteen percent alcohol, so it's certainly not shy in the alcohol stakes. So first up, I'm getting that iodine inkiness coming through, and I must say I really enjoy it. I thought uh, when I first tried this, a reserve wine, maybe it was going to have a um, huge amount of oak, but it certainly doesn't have a huge amount of oak. There is good fruit here, um, there is some good oak, uh, probably uh, suggesting maybe both American and uh, French oak here. I'm getting the cedar notes. Uh, from the French oak, uh, and just a little hint of coconutiness. Coconutiness. I don't know if that's a word um, on the on the palate there that you would expect from a bit of American oak. Look, this is a highly enjoyable wine. Uh, 2009 vintage, only just been bottled, so I suspect it's going to settle down a lot more in the bottle uh, as it goes along. But I tell you, I'm enjoying this right now. So I certainly wouldn't um, hesitate in recommending this wine to anybody. Now I'm not sure uh, where you can get this other than from the Thought Wines website. So check it out, and uh, you know you wouldn't do, you couldn't, sorry, you could do worse uh, by uh, uh, getting other wines here. So this wine I think is a is a good one. So look. Now that's all we have time for Lone Grape TV. I hope you're enjoying the new format, being one wine at a time. Uh, if there is any feedback, please let me know. But yep, uh, so far I've only been given positive uh, feedback on the one wine per show. So, that's all we have time for. Hope you've enjoyed this as half as much as I enjoy it. As you can imagine, I enjoy drinking the wine. Okay, But have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.